What is true in time? What is true in time? Does it really change with every season? Or is it always fixed and bound to reason? What is true in time? What is true in time? And the lines I used to think were mine Come back to me in another's lines Yesterday comes back in rhyme Yesterday comes back in rhyme Yes, I look around and often find The past is either here or close behind I look ahead and I could swear there was a path Now nothing's there, this crumpled map's too hard to read It seems that time just picks up speed it seems that time just picks up speed If we find love in time There's room for yours and mine If what is true can change with every minute Then how can we believe or have faith in it? If I can sing long enough and make each song a song of love, then maybe every song comes true, true in time, true in time. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks very much. That's the title song of my new CD. I, I, I'm not going to tell you what it's about. You can figure that out. But I can tell you how it came about. Uh, uh, when Carrie Fisher died and her mom, uh, Debbie Reynolds, died the next day, uh, I put a note up on Facebook uh, quoting a Paul Simon song. No, I would not give you false hope on this strange and mournful day, but a mother and child reunion is only emotion away. It's a, and a, a Paul Simon used to be married to Carrie Fisher. Anyway, I put that note up on uh, Facebook, and Pete Kennedy of the duo The Kennedys uh, wrote back saying, maybe every song comes true in time. And then he wrote me a note privately saying, true in time, that sounds like a song. So uh, we decided, we collaborated on the lyrics over the internet, and then I put a tune to it and uh, ran, ran the chords by him, and it worked out. So that's a, that's a, a remotely uh, uh, rendered uh, song. Okay, so how many of you have not seen me play live before? Many of you. Okay, this is good. Okay, then I do have, it's good that I've got some uh, uh, introductory songs for the people who raised your hand. I'll refer to you as the new people. <laughs> so uh, I've got a, a couple songs for the new people. It seems to help them. I don't want you to feel like outsiders. So, I, I, uh, so I, these seem to help you uh, and uh, help the new people. And I thank also the people who have come back uh, who have seen me play uh, before. This is the, the first of the introductory songs. It's the most effective one. It's a song about where I am from, and it goes like this. <laughs> I'm from New Jersey. I don't expect too much if the world ended today I would adjust I'm from New Jersey no I don't talk that way I watch too much TV when I was young I'm from New Jersey 
My mom's Italian I've read those mafia books We don't belong There were girls from New Jersey Who had that great big hair Once found in shopping malls I will take you there I'm from New Jersey, it's not like Texas, no, there is no mystery, I can't pretend. I'm from New Jersey, it's like Ohio, but even more so, imagine that I know which exit and where I'm bound. The tolls on the parkway, they will slow you down. The song never got the easy pass. New Jersey people, they will surprise you because they're not expected to do too much. They will try harder, they may go further Cause they never think that they are good enough I'm from New Jersey, I don't expect too much If the world ended today, I would adjust Yes, I would adjust mm, I would adjust Thank you so much. No, thank you. <laughs> that was called, I'm from New Jersey. Okay, so now you know. That seems to help the people, the new people, more than anything, I think. I could do the other introductory song now, or I can wait a minute, I don't want to overwhelm you. <laughs> I'll do, maybe I'll do, a, this is a, I'll, I'll be taking mental requests as well as written and spoken requests. And this one just came in. It's a song from my first record that came out in the late 1900s. <laughs> I saw a stranger with your hair Tried to make her give it back So I could send it off to you Maybe Federal Express Cause I know you'd miss it I saw another with your eyes The flash just turned my head I went to try them on for size But they looked the other way they wouldn't listen But you're never hard to find in a crowd The people around you smiling out loud Their feet don't touch the ground No, their feet don't touch the ground Their feet don't touch the ground I heard a stranger with your voice It took me by surprise Again I found it wasn't you Just an angel in disguise In for a visit and by the way, how is my heart? I haven't seen it since you left I'm almost sure it followed you Could you sometime send it back? I'll buy the ticket 
But you're never hard to find in a crowd The people around you smiling out loud Their feet don't touch the ground No, their feet don't touch the ground No, their feet don't touch the ground I saw a stranger with your hair I saw another with your eyes I heard an angel with your voice, yes And by the way, how is my heart? By the way, how is my heart? Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice of you. Okay, I'll do the other introductory song now. Uh, this seems to help people. Maybe not as much as the other one, but still effective and safe. This comes from a pretty rough time in my life when I got a job, a full-time job that didn't have an end in sight. It's like, whoa. I had enough work experience at this point to know I wanted to make a living I wanted to support myself, I wanted to be independent, but I wanted to do all that without having a job. And I didn't know anybody who did that, so I went to college. I was the first and only person in my family to go to college. And, I th and that very first night of college, I had a freshman orientation coffee house, when all the performers were from the incoming freshman class. This was at Moravian College in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And so I, I signed up to play. I, I didn't, I'd not played at any coffee houses at this point. I played in the church folk group, and I played a couple shows in college, in uh, high school, but that's about it. So I signed up to play, and I, I practiced a bunch of songs to be ready. Uh, but uh, but by the, when that night came of the first day of, of college, the, my throat had closed off, and uh, I realized I was not going to be able to sing any of the songs I had, I had practiced. So... I'm not, sure, I'm not exactly sure what I did, but I believe I played the banjo, I played guitar, and I sang. And, and uh, there was another guy there who I didn't know, but I found out later was also from New Jersey, played mandolin and guitar and sang. And in the audience was a guitar player who saw the makings of a bluegrass band. So that was the beginning of the Razzie Dazzy Spasm Band. <laughs> Sorry to be such a name dropper right off the bat. <laughs> But it's, some people just start off at a really high level, you know. It's, life isn't fair. Okay, so anyway, I played it that first night. I played every coffee house they let me. Eventually, I ran the coffee house program there at school. And uh, a, a few months after that first night, the guitar player in the audience and I had become friends, Doug Anderson. You might know Doug because he lived in New Hampshire. <laughs> next date over. So anyway... He took me to the professional coffee house on the south side of Bethlehem, a place called Godfrey Daniels Coffee House, which is still there after uh, 40 years or so. And uh, they'd, he was trying to get a booking for a friend of his who was a blues guitarist and songwriter. His name is George Gritzback. He was his first record, Have You Had Your Grits Today, I think it was called. And uh, they didn't have a show that night, but he was taking the, the uh, record to uh, Dave Fry, who ran Godfrey Daniels. And uh, they didn't have a show that night, but people were gathered in the front room playing, playing music. And there was guitars and mandolins and fiddles. And they passed me the guitar at one point, and I, and I sang a song. And I looked around. I remember looking at the, uh, the pictures on the wall of the people who were going to be playing there. And I thought, wow, this is what Greenwich Village must have been like in, in the 60s. Uh, later, when I found out what... Uh, Greenwich Village had become in the 80s. I wished it was more like Godfrey's. Anyway, uh, I started to uh, go there regularly to the open mics on Sunday nights, and I would go to the shows. Uh, after the first set, they would drop the price in half, so I was able to experiment on people whose music I didn't know, but whose descriptions looked interesting on, on the calendar, and there was no YouTube then. 
And I felt like I discovered this whole world of music I didn't know existed. Some of my, my favorites were there. There were um, Claudia Schmidt and Rosalie Sorrells and Utah Phillips and uh, Stan Rogers and uh, uh, Nancy Griffith, just, just great, great people. And uh, uh, I thought, boy, if I could be like one of the people who plays here, that would be the best thing. So I started uh, heading in that direction and away from everything else. I didn't know how that would work out with my studies, you know, with my scholarly stuff. So, <laughs> so to have a more secure future, I became a philosophy major. So that way, that way if the music didn't work out financially, <laughs> I'd be set. I'd had, I'd had, I had a plan. So upon graduation, I got a job delivering flowers. Uh, <laughs> It worked out because I was qualified with my degree. <laughs> These are very fine. I would have delivered them without, <laughs> without any qualms. Anyway, I want to get technical on you. All right, so, so I started to go there. Uh, uh, well, let me sing you this song. Uh, maybe we'll talk again. <laughs> I'm editing. Okay. Sometimes I'm I'm uh, I'm not I'm not sure when the introduction is over. <laughs> I'm often the last to know. Okay, so we'll go on now. This is called Land of the Bottom Line. This became the title song of my second record, which had no happy songs on it whatsoever. Couldn't bribe a wino on what I used to make. My fortune was as sure as the wind. But I was free to wonder, and time was on my hands. It was mine to burn and to bend. Freedom for freedom, call that an even scheme. Give me time to wonder and to dream. Oh, 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 oh. I need the money, they'll take the time down to the land of the bottom line, to the bottom line. Then there came a chance to make some steady dough Bouncing up my alley to the door You fill your clothes with keys and damned responsibilities Trading the maybe for the sure Freedom for freedom, call that an even scheme. Give me time to wonder and to dream. Oh, 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 oh. I need the money, they'll take the time down to the land of the bottom line, to the bottom line. All I ever wanted was to be a kid and play Fighting every change along the way I don't like work, but I don't like waste And I don't like waiting for a taste Freedom for freedom, call that an even scheme. Give me time to wonder and to dream. Oh, 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 oh. I need the money, they'll take the time down to the land of the bottom line, to the bottom line. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey.
Thank you very much. Thanks. Well, thank you. Thanks for clapping for that, because it brings up a lot of terrible memories for me. <laughs> I recall that time. So uh, upon uh, uh, graduation, I did get, get a job delivering flowers, and I did that for three and a half years. Not to brag. And then I was offered the full-time job that led to that song. Ooh. OK. So I started, while I was still in school, I started to go to the open mics regularly on Sunday nights. And I, while I was still in school, I started to host the open mics. And I, was, I started to go to the shows pretty regularly. And I became kind of a general purpose volunteer there at Godfrey Daniels. I helped out at the counter. I helped out as an usher, uh, sound man, MC and eventually opening act. I watched hundreds of shows from, there's a trunk in the corner that I watched a lot of shows from also, and I saw, watched a lot of shows from the sound booth. And one of my favorite things was that my favorite performers uh, would just transform the room. The place would feel completely different after the show than it, than it did before. Uh, and it was a really magical thing because each of my favorites did, did it in their own way. And I really wondered, Wow, I'd love to be able to do that. And you know, I would love to make the audience feel the way my, my heroes made me feel. So I, I tried to you know, do my best to study them. One of the things I did notice was, uh, it was kind of a consistent across the board with my, my heroes. They seemed to know what was going to happen next. There were no awkward pauses at all. It was very, it was very, very smooth. So uh, I wanted to be like that. And one of the things they, they, they did, they'd write a list of the songs they were going to play ahead of time, and they'd stick it to the top of their guitar, and they'd go right down the list. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> That's professional. So I, 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 the first time I did an opening act there, I, uh, it was like four or five songs, and I, I wrote a list of the, uh, the songs, and I stuck it to the top of the guitar, and I had things to say in between the songs. <laughs> and I came off stage, I, th I thought it had gone pretty well, because I remembered all the words. And uh, I, I asked Dave Fry, who ran Godfrey Daniels, you know, uh, how do you think it went? <laughs> Dave didn't say anything, he just shook his head and he walked away. I said, oh, no, that's horrible. That's probably not good. So uh, I went up to him after. I said, Dave, could you use words? And he said, it was good, John. It was a little too good. It was a little too structured, too polished, too smooth. It didn't seem real. I'd even say it was slick. And people started calling me slick. I was horrified. I just wanted to be professional like my heroes, and it came off as overly slick. So that's, that's when I realized I needed to discard the uh, traditional approach to performing, the, the know what you're doing approach. Uh, and now I write up a set list for every show, but not till after. So that way, if I make a comment that doesn't make sense, or I, I, I play a song that doesn't connect, it, it doesn't make the list. I'm not going to share all my secrets with you. OK, so uh, I'm going to do another one. This allows you to make suggestions uh, as the audience, because uh, I don't know all my songs, but I, I know several of them. And if you make suggestions, there's a break, and that gives me a chance to learn a song or two. So let me know if you have an idea. But I, I got this. This is a request from somebody who is uh, here already. Uh, I, I, I've not played this song standing up before, but I'm going to give it a try now. I wrote it sitting down, so. All right, sharing more again. Okay. And this is, uh, it was inspired by Godfrey Daniels Coffee House. This is also on the new record, uh, the True in Time record. And it's uh, a song inspired by that, the place in Bethlehem, uh, uh, was the home of Bethlehem Steel, the big steel mill for a very long time. And it's also known as the Christmas City. They've got bus tours through the historic section uh, settled by the Moravians in the 1740s. Anyway, they'd have, and there's a big star of, of Bethlehem that lights up on South Mountain. So that's mentioned in there. And also, uh, Bethlehem is about seven miles away from Nazareth, Pennsylvania, which is the home of Martin Guitars. And uh, this is a Martin, and it's a song uh, called Nazarene Guitar. I think I'm going to sit down with this one, sir. The 
cool people had a meeting and decided that I wasn't one of them. So I took my Nazarene guitar and played it all the way to Bethlehem. Where some kind people took me in before I even found that I was lost. Oh, my mind moves slowly, north side covered with moss. Nazarene guitar, south mountain star. Roads can scar and heal, words can heal and scar. Oh, but love lasts longer, love is stronger than steel. There's music in the valley, the sounds of how it feels. They, they welcome me, front door key to my dreams. Oh, the young and the poor tend to see the lower extremes. I listened in the wings, filling with sounds that were true. Oh, it seems I was given more than I was due. Nazarene guitar, South Mountain star. Roads can scar and heal, words can heal and scar. Oh, but love lasts longer, love is stronger than steel. There's music in the valley, the sounds of how it feels. Future family had a meeting and decided that I could be one of them. So I took my Nazarene guitar and played it all the way from Bethlehem. Oh, I miss those hills, kept watch on me and my friends. Mostly it's the faces with me till the end. Though I slouched away, they'll be with me till the end. Nazarene guitar, thanks. Hello. This is a, from a, a record of mine called Between Five and Seven. It was my sixth record. There was a, there was a seventh, so it ended up working out uh, as a title. There was, it was kind of touch and go there for a while. So. And this is, uh, this is also, on a, I made a record with a couple of songwriter friends, uh, Lucy Kaplansky and Eliza Gilkis, and we made a record in 2010 called uh, Red Horse, and, uh, where we sing each other's songs. And this is a song of mine that Lucy sings. And it's, uh, uh, she had a better introduction for it than I did. She said, this is a song about some of John's friends who made some unfortunate choices. <laughs> it's called Blue Chalk. So I wonder how she's doing. I hate it when the rumors fly They give off such a strange sense of mission Wing your helplessness on high But she would never run from strangers She sang alone like a bell will toll Way above all the clang and the clatter Out of fear of her demon soul mm -hmm. Oh Maybe none of this is my business And none of what I hear is true I am far from the mint condition Circulation's hard on you Hold tight, hang tough Love's not enough To keep you off that stuff To save you Hold 
hold tight, hang tough Love's not enough to keep you off that stuff To save you now mm -hmm. Oh Maybe none of this is my business And none of what I hear is true I am far from the mint condition Circulation's hard on you Hold tight, hang tough Love's not enough To keep you off that stuff To save you Hold tight, hang tough Love's not enough Keep you off that stuff to save you now. Mm -hmm. oh. He can always find the holes in the bottles, even with a blindfold on. Never kept his seat on the wagon. Rolling off like a rolling stone Blue chalk between his fingers Hustling a pool room song He always kept a line for the singers Pointing his cue right from wrong Hold tight, hang tough Love's not enough To keep you off that stuff To save you Hold tight, hang tough Love's not enough To keep you off that stuff To save you now mm -hmm. Oh Thanks. Thank Do another song from the, the True in Time record. Uh, it was recorded in, uh, most of it was recorded in three days in uh, Minneapolis, uh, kind of the old fashioned way with me playing and singing at the same time as, as the other players were playing. And uh, we had some guest singers afterwards, but uh, most. Uh, uh, by the end of that third day, all my singing was all done. Um, it was fun to fun to do it. Uh, fun to do it that way. I hadn't done it that uh, a record like that in in about ten years. And this is this is one of those songs. And uh, I think I think of it as a song for uh, to, they send out to the people who may be having a, a rough time with the world as it is, you know, uh, who may be experiencing kind of a post-truth chaotic dystopia. So this is for you. If you're not doing that, then uh, don't worry about it. There'll probably be a song that will be for you, too. It's called Tattooed. It's a pretty new day in a pretty new year It's hard to know where to go from here It's easy to say, cause talk is cheap Are you worried now? Are you losing sleep? Worried Man Blues is an old song that comes to mind in a world gone wrong, we're hoping so hard to find Losing hurts worse than winning feels good They say move on, and you know you should When the good is lost, 
And the damage stays A tattooed heart Can last you all your days celebrate it could come in a rush but not stay late there's a lot of art on the younger skin and unseen marks deep within worried man blues is an old song that comes to mind in a world gone wrong we're hoping so hard to find losing hurts worse than when it feels good they say move on and you know you should so you carry on as best you can get out of bed and rise again Thank you Thanks very much I'm going to do I'm going to do a couple more and then I'll take a break and I'll be doing all different songs after that I really like these lights these lights are my mental health is improving as uh, <laughs> with each song. Okay. All right, let's see. Does anybody have any ideas? Yeah. Diminishing wind. Diminishing, I'll have to practice that one. Okay. <laughs> and, oh, where the bottle's break. Okay, let's, let's give that one a go. Okay, this is a song. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll finish. Oh, no, no. no I'll, okay, I'll stop talking. This is a, a song takes place in, in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and the south side of town, which I considered my part of town. It's where Godfrey Daniels is. And uh, my time there roughly coincided with the decline of Bethlehem Steel. And the, the town was trying to, to, to adapt to the new uh, economic realities. And a lot of what they did I was fine with, but, but the way they were fixing up the south side, uh, I, I started to feel like Aspiring folk singers and other poor people would no longer be welcome there. So I wrote this back then. I lived for a while at the corner of 6th and Atlantic Streets, and four blocks to the north were the Bethlehem Steel Blast Furnaces. And on the other side of, of the building, the South Mountain side, there's a park and a playground, which figure into the song. And I'm, I don't recall a lot of casual games uh, looking out that window. Um, uh, this, I, I wrote this song in 1991. It came out on a record uh, called... Uh, uh, Jack's Crows, and uh, I changed a few words. In uh, 1994, I changed the words uh, girlfriend to new wife. Uh, but otherwise, the song is unchanged since that time, but the world changes, and the, song, uh, and the meaning of the song changes. So let me sing you this song. Uh, this is called Where the Bottles Break. <laughs> I walk when the bottles break and the black top still comes back for more. I walk when the bottles break and the black top still comes back. I live where the neighbors yell and the music comes up through the floor. I live where the neighbors yell and the music wakes me up. Life beyond the playground fence is serious as basketball. Life beyond the playground fence is serious. Four blocks from the steel mill blast, I paint my claim up on the wall. Four blocks from the steel mill blast, I paint my claim. From my end of the south side drag, it's a common thought to call the cops. 
Further west it's been gentrified They turn biker bars into flower shops I kind of miss those Harley guys Who rarely did a body harm They mostly like to drink and shout And flash the pictures on their arms It happens when the money comes The wild and poor get pushed aside It happens when the money comes The poor get pushed The buyers come from somewhere else They raise the rent so you can't hide The buyers come from out of state And they raise the rent Buy low, sell high You get rich and you still die Money talks, people jump, ask how high, low life, Donald, what's his name? And who cares? I don't want to know what his new wife doesn't wear. It's a shame that the people at work want to hear about this kind of jerk. People aren't saints, no people just are They wanna feel like they count They wanna ride in their own car People aren't saints, no people just are They wanna feel like they count They wanna ride in their own car I just wanna make enough To buy this town and keep it rough I just wanna make enough To buy this town Buy low, sell high You get rich and you still die Money talks, people jump, ask how high, low life, Donald, what's his name? Oh. I walk where the bottles break and the black top still comes back for more. I walk where the bottles break and the black top still comes back. I live where the neighbors yell and their music comes up through the floor. I live where the neighbors yell And the music wakes me up Life beyond the playground Fancy is serious as basketball Life beyond the playground Fancy is serious Serious, serious Serious, serious Serious, serious. Oh. This is another sing-along. <laughs> All the songs I've done so far have been sing-alongs. I, I probably should have let you know. When I grow up, I want to be a tree Gonna make my home with the birds and the bees and the squirrels They can count on me when I grow up to be a tree I let my joints get stiff, put my feet in the ground Take the winters off, settle down Keep my clothes till they turn brown When I grow up, I'm gonna settle down and I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna reach, reach for the sky. I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna reach till I know why. When the spring comes by, I'm gonna get real green If the dogs come by, I'm gonna get real mean On windy days, I'll bend and lean When I grow up, I'm gonna get real green If I should fall in storm or slumber Please don't turn me into lumber I'd rather be a Louisville slugger swinging for the seats. I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna reach, reach for the sky. 
Thank you. Dig, if you will, the picture of you and I engaged in a kiss. The sweat of your body covers me. Can you, my darling, can you picture this? Dream, if you can, a courtyard, an ocean of violets in bloom. Animals strike curious poses They feel the heat, the heat between me and How can you just leave me standing Alone in a world that's so cold Maybe I'm just too demanding Maybe I'm just like my father Too bold, maybe you're just like my mother She's never satisfied why do we scream at each other? This is what it sounds like when doves cry. Touch, if you will, my stomach. Feel how it trembles inside. You've got the butterflies all tied up. Don't make me chase you. Even doves have pride. So dig, if you will, the picture of you and I engaged in a kiss. The sweat of your body covers me. Can you, my darling, can you picture this? Dream, if you can, a courtyard, an ocean of violets in bloom. Animals strike curious poses, feel the heat heat between me and how can you just leave me standing alone in a world that's so cold maybe I'm just too demanding maybe I'm just like my father too bold maybe you're just like my mother she's never satisfied why do we scream at each other this is what it sounds like when doves cry When doves cry When doves cry Thank you. Welcome to Second Part. Thanks very much. There's a song by Prince uh, called When Doves Cry. I learned that the day he died, and I played it that night. I was playing out in uh, Washington State, and I felt I, felt I needed, to, I felt I needed to, to do one of his songs. You know, even though I, I was all, not all that familiar with his music, uh, we both live in Minnesota, but we didn't hang out, uh, mainly because we'd never met. I, I do live in Minnesota now. I've been li living there for 22 years. Lived, did, did, Grew up in New Jersey, as I led you to believe. Uh, first 18 years there, and then the, almost, the next almost 20 in the Lehigh Valley area of Pennsylvania before moving to Minnesota. I couldn't take the Pennsylvania winters anymore. And was, <laughs> so I had, I had to get out. OK, OK. This is a song I wrote with my, my good friend, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. <laughs> A 
I heard the bells on Christmas Day Their old familiar carols play And wild and sweet the words repeat Peace on earth, goodwill to men Peace on earth, goodwill to men I thought how, as the day had come The belfries of all Christendom Had rolled along the unbroken song Peace on earth, goodwill to men Peace on earth, goodwill to men And in despair I bowed my head There is no peace on earth, I said For hate is strong and mocks the song Peace on earth, goodwill to men Peace on earth, goodwill to men Then pealed the bells more loud and deep God is not dead, nor doth he sleep The wrong shall fail, the right prevail Peace on earth, goodwill to men Peace on earth, goodwill to men I heard the bells on Christmas Day Their old familiar carols play And wild and sweet the words repeat Peace on earth, goodwill to men. Peace on earth, goodwill to men. Peace on earth, goodwill to men. Thanks. Thank you. This is on a record called uh, the Company You Keep, I believe, and it's a song. I've been reading about Abraham Lincoln and some of the things he wrote and said and did, and also around that time, reading uh, one, of those, uh, uh, Jack, uh, one of those Beat Generation books about Jack Kerouac and his pals. So this is the only song I, uh, I have that has, has uh, Abraham Lincoln and Jack Kerouac in it, <laughs> you know, so far. I'm using one of these partial capos here. I've got several of these capos here on the uh, headstock. Um, uh, some of them are just a normal capo that covers all six strings at once, and the, this is one that uses, covers the middle four strings and leaves the top and bottom open if I put it on correctly. Um, it gives kind of an open tuning sound without having to retune or change your left hand chord forms all that much. Okay. This is called O oh Abraham. see a penny and I pick it up If not the money I could use the love And if it's face down then I turn it over Head forward avenue between him and I'm new Dover Back to my hometown Gas was cheaper where I'm from, but the driving's not so good. People go and stay where they should not, and they don't do it like I would. Work is not the same as before. More software hands in the hardware store. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, 
Abraham, look at all the money now. Oh, Abraham, good night. It's your party, but I'll cry if I want to. I wouldn't care how much they had if they would only do what's right, not far right. I was born by a Kerouac stream Under Eisenhower skies They saw freedom as a big idea Now it was right before my eyes They say Jack helped to build the Pentagon and I built the interstate that we are off and on, off and on. Oh, oh Abraham, was it all about the money then? Oh, Abraham, good night. It's your party, but I'll cry if I want to. All powered up and charmed with might. So we are right, we're always right. Right? We're right, they're wrong. Let them get their own song. We're right, they're wrong. Let them get their own song. See a penny and I pick it up. Ninety nine more and I have a buck. Babe, you were born, I know, can tell, but we still miss you here. Thanks. I've been a part of, my friend uh, Eliza Gilkison has a song workshop that she does at her house in Taos, New Mexico. Uh, it's just north of there. And uh, I've been a part of the June sessions in at least last uh, three years, and I'll be doing it again this year. And people come from all over, and they uh, come to really work on songs. It's not really, we don't do a lot of teaching. It's more really uh, helping people write songs and getting the songs that, that are in them out of them. And, uh, this is one I wrote for that kind of that that gathering. Uh, I, I feel like every every good thought, every good uh, uh, word, and every good action uh, uh, has an effect. And uh, and I was thinking about uh, uh, the, the, I was asking the people who live there some about the, the landscape and. Uh, and about some of the, the indigenous people, uh, the people of the Taos Pueblo call themselves the people of the Red Willow, and. Um, uh, I just love that that sound, and they'd been there for hundreds of years, and it reminded me of a a, a place I played in uh, uh, Bethel, Alaska, I think, which is mainly a, uh, a majority Native uh, population. And uh, I remember seeing the uh, uh, came a Chamber of Commerce pamphlet, and uh, it said one of the it had like a little ad in there. It said, "Doing business in the area for ten thousand years." <laughs> I just love that idea. So whatever. They've been through a lot. So this is, uh, this is a lot of place names, I think, in here, too. I just like the sound of them. Uh, and this is called Arroyo Seco. It was a place where the hippies won In the land of the Subaru where the dream was never done And there still was room for you In the valley of the Rio Grande North of the Taos Plateau People there would lend a hand And leave you room to grow Room to grow It 
It was back in 17, the summer before the fall. Hope was being squeezed by the bums who had it all. But there was music all around because the people dared to sing. You know they made such a sound that they could face anything, anything. Sun smoke and cottonwood snow The people on the red willow know Arroyo Seco New Mexico Well, some made a little fire so the big fire wouldn't burn. The word rose like smoke and the winds began to turn. Above the Taos Plateau in the valley of the Rio Grande, a new sound took hold and resonated with the land, with the land. Sun smoke and cottonwood snow. Some learn what the red willow know. Hondo and Seco, New Mexico. In a place where the hippies won And a Subaru would do Hard times came on Harder than they ever knew But they would build again Sand, clay, and straw They built a new well within And made an even deeper draw Deeper draw Sun smoke and cottonwood snow Some things only the red willow know Arroyo Seco New Mexico Land of enchantment New Mexico song we're going to go by category so this next should this next one be fast or slow fast, fast. okay the fast people beat the slow people <laughs> but not by much okay fast old or fast new <coughs> fast old okay if the old people beat the new people fast <laughs> fast old negative or fast old positive positive, positive. okay that really narrows it down <laughs> okay so I've written hundreds. I've written hundreds of songs, you know, but the overtly positive ones. There's five now. There's four for a long time. But I just wrote another one. Okay. Fast old positive. All right. Let's see. Okay, this is this is called good, and I hope you know. Hopefully, I, it'll be. I am good at dreams, I am good at dreams Bad at savings, bonds, fashion, magazines I am good at dreams, I am good at dreams And I am good at night, I am good at night Some don't fit me right, I try with all my might 
I am good at night, I am good at night I am good at stars, I am good at skies Not like other guys, I am good at skies I could close my eyes, I could be your size I would still be good at skies I am good at wind, I am good at stone I am good at rain and good at all alone I am good at you and good at home I am good at stars, I am good at skies Not like other guys, I am good at skies I could close my eyes, I could be your size I would still be good at sky I am good at dreams I am good at dreams Bad at savings bonds fashion magazines I am good at dreams I am good at dreams And I am good at night I am good at night Some don't fit me right I try with all my might I am good at night, I am good at night I am good at dreams, I am good at dreams I am good at night, I am good at night Thanks. This is a, I did this on the radio this morning, it's a ridiculous song. Uh, it's not a song I ever expected to record and put out there, but uh, but, you know, it seemed right for whatever reason. Uh, uh, I think uh, Cheryl Wheeler said that, you know, that you, have to, you have to write whatever songs that the song gods send to you. And I, I believe that they are come, come in a kind of a narrow tube. And if you don't write everything that comes out of the tube, then you get a blockage. And uh, uh, the good ones will never come out. So you have to write every song that comes out, whether you want to or not. Or not. But there really is no reason to perform every song that comes out of that tube. So, uh, so I'm, I'm going to do that anyway. This is horrible. You know, it's a ridiculous song. Okay, this is called the Body Parts Medley. I initially refused it. The second part of it uh, came first. I initially refused uh, uh, the song, but I, I realized I, if I was going to ever write a good song again, I would have to write this one. This is called the Body Parts Medley. I wrote it in the eight, late late 80s or early 90s, in the 1990s, and uh, called the Body Parts Medley. I didn't, haven't changed a word of it. People think that I've, I've, I've adapted it for the times, but no. <laughs> no. The Body Parts Medley, take one. I like my feet We're very neat None can compete with the meat in my feet I like my toes, we're very close I should compose epic prose for my toes They hold up my legs while shopping for eggs Now everyone begs to have eggs like my legs I keep my calves around for laughs both of my halves take their baths with my calves I like my thighs they're just the right size they help me rise to new highs my two thighs Oh, it's nothing but a butt Oh, it's nothing but a big butt It's beefy and mean Boston baked bean Burnt burrito and a beer butt It's a really, really big butt It's a really, really big butt It's beefy and mean Boston baked bean Burnt burrito and a beer butt Oh, it's nothing but a butt it's a what the heck was that But it's really, really lean Hardly nothing in between Trendy out to make the scene But 
It's a hardly nothing there, but it's an absent derriere, but it's really, really lean. Hardly nothing in between, trendy out to make the scene, but some butts are lost in poker games. Some butts end up in slings. Some butts end up as presidents who wish they could be kings. But they're nothing but a butt. A double burger on a bun. But they're burly and bold. Don't you worry about the cold. Yes, they've got an extra fold. It's a really, really big butt. It's a really, really big butt. It's beefy and mean. Boston baked bean, burnt burrito, and a beer butt. It's really, really lean. Hardly nothing in between. Trendy out to make the scene. Mm. But. I didn't want to put that song too close to the end of, of the set because I didn't want you to leave uh, humming that song. So hopefully these next few will uh, help to erase that. Okay, okay. This is called Mennonite Girl. Once I loved a Mennonite girl And for a while she was my whole world I think of her when the swallows fly As I make my way to the by and by I did right and I did roam I met her far, far from my home Under northern lights I first kissed her hair She stole my heart She kept it there I roamed again I did ride A hollow man Who waked inside Love seems to come from outside time Well I knew love when she was mine I lost her to another place Another's arms, another's face I made a vow right there and then To never let love go again Chasing dreams, seeking gold I was a young man, now I'm old I learned one thing, to be sure You can't find gold and lose something more I never learned the Mennonite ways She's in my heart for all my days I wish her peace I wish her love I wish her easy with the rough Once I loved a Mennonite girl For a while she was my whole world I think of her when the swallows fly As I make my way To the by and by I think of her When the swallows fly And a nice girl. Thanks. I wanted to write a song about aging gracefully but it didn't work out. So I've got this song instead. It's horrible, 
But as a folk singer, I must sing about the truth to the people. That would be you. And uh, I do mention Scrapple in the song. I learned about Scrapple in Pennsylvania next door to Godfrey Daniels was a, 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 a diner called the Blue Anchor Diner. And Dave Fry from Godfrey Daniels took me over there for breakfast one morning. And uh, I was looking at the list of breakfast, breakfast meats. And I said, what's Scrapple? And he said, oh, get that. That's good. <laughs> I, I did. He did not. Uh, I describe Scrapple as a pork-based breakfast meat, but there's not a lot of meat involved. It's pig parts, just not the meat ones. Mmm. I sometimes say it's like Spam without the health benefits. But, but spam, spam actually has more meat. It's pork shoulder and, pork and ham. And, and, I just visited the, the new Spam Museum in Austin, uh, Minnesota. You gotta go. <laughs> you really gotta go. Was, it was very moving. Okay, that's kind of. I, I do live in Minnesota, so I, 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 did, I miss, missed it the last time I was in the area because they were closed on Sundays. So let's put that mark, make a note of that. So you don't, you don't go all the way out there and find it's closed. All right, this is called uh, People My Age. People My Age. <laughs> People my age have started looking gross. I cannot say all, and I shouldn't say most. I've seen them in the grocery, I've seen them up close. People my age have started looking gross. Ooh. People my age are showing somewhere There's holes where the teeth was And their heads have gone bare Their brains are shrinking Faces sinking into fat And as for the mirror We won't be looking into that People my age have started looking gross. Maybe not in Colorado or up the Silicon Coast. Back in Pennsylvania, I eat scrapple on toast. Those were my first steps on the road to looking gross. <laughs> Any eye, contact, any eye contact I've made during this song is purely accidental. <laughs> People my age are looking overripe. Some are getting operations to tighten up what ain't tight. What gravity's ruin, they try to fix with a knife. What's pleasant in the darkness is plain scary in the light. Oh, 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 oh. Gross. Thank you. This one has a story attached to it. Hope you don't mind me telling it. It's one of, one of my favorite things that ever happened. Uh, I was playing at a festival in London England, uh, called, it was called the American Music Festival. It was July of 1992. And I, uh, I checked into the hotel where the performers were staying. I think it was the Overland Hotel near Hyde, Hyde Park. And uh, I checked into my room and I went to sleep at a, a reasonable hour because I wanted to be ready to play the next day. But uh, I couldn't sleep because of the time change. So I figured. I figured I'd go to the bar and have a beverage that would move me towards dreamland, but not fragment my sleep. So uh, I was sitting there at the bar, and I see someone sit down a few seats to my left, and I look over and I look again. I said, are you Pop Staples? It was Pop Staples from the Staples Singers. He said, yeah, I couldn't sleep. I said, are you going to be here a minute? He said, 
Yeah. So I ran upstairs. Uh, he had just put out his first solo record uh, after recording for decades uh, with the Staple Singers with great success. It was a record called Peace to the Neighborhood on Point Blank Records. And I got, brought my copy downstairs and uh, uh, he was still there and I asked him if he would sign it. And he was very gracious, he signed it. And I, I spoke with him for a minute. And all of a sudden he got really sleepy. I was glad I could help. So, so, so he went back up to his room. And the uh, next day, the, the uh, breakfast situation at the hotel was cafeteria style. And I got my tray of food, you know, traditional English breakfast. And uh, I sat down at the, the, my table. I, I, was, I was traveling by myself. And I, as I was getting ready to start eating, I hear a voice say, mind if I join you? And I look up, and it's Pop Staples with his tray. And I couldn't believe it. It took me a while to get some words out. Eventually, he understood I would love that. And uh, so I got to visit with him a little bit and ask him about some of the people he knew. He was originally from Mississippi and knew some of the original folk blues guys. He knew Charlie Patton, uh, who influenced his guitar style. Also from that same area was Chester Burnett, Hall Howlin' Wolf, and Tommy Johnson, also from that same area. Uh, and he, when he lived in, uh, in Chicago, who is uh, close family friends with Mahalia Jackson, the, 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 uh, the great gospel singer, and uh, Stevie Wonder would stay at his house when he came through town. Uh, during the Civil Rights Movement, he was a personal friend of Dr. Dr. King. Uh, he played at JFK's White House. The uh, Staples uh, family and their music is so central to what I like best about this country. And as we, were, as we were getting ready to go, he said, you're a songwriter, right? And I said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he said, well, if you ever have any contemporary gospel songs, send them to me. I'll give you a good deal. And he gave me his address. And I, the boy, I thought, well, I'd love to have something that he would, he, would, uh, he would sing of mine. So I remember I had this, just a fragment of a song. And it was my idea of what a gospel feel was. So I finished the song, I recorded it, and I sent it to him. And I was home in Bethlehem when I was hardly ever home. And the phone rings, and the answering machine picks up. And the, uh, I hear the voice say, hello. This is Pop Staples. And I rush over to the phone. I pick up the receivers. I pop, Pops, Pops. Because I was already as cool then as I am now. <laughs> he said, and he said, oh, screening your calls, huh? <laughs> and I laughed. And I said, yeah, I guess so. And uh, he, he said he wanted to thank me for sending the music. And I could hear it playing in the background over the phone. It was one of my favorite moments ever. So he never did get around to recording any of my songs, but this is the song that he inspired me to finish, and it's one of those uh, overtly positive ones. This is a song called Good Noise. Tell me the truth, what are you living for? Tell me why, why are you near? Cause if you cannot make yourself a good noise, tell me what you're doing here. Now we all got the hand for the gimme We all got the mouth for the much obliged But when it comes down to giving back We give the eye to the other guy Oh, it seems that so much trouble Is simply caused by the angry word Although silence can be a virtue I say it's a good noise that's preferred Tell me the truth, what are you living for? Tell me why, why are you near? Cause if you cannot make yourself a good noise Tell me what you're doing here oh, oh, oh. You may have every right and reason To be down in the dumps today But aren't you just adding to the problem? If you've got nothing good to say I have a question for the mighty All across this mighty land Well tell me how can you ever take a breath of hope Talking down your fellow man Tell me the truth, what are you living for? Tell me why, why are you near? Cause if you cannot make yourself a good noise Tell me what you're doing here Tell me the truth, what are you living for? Tell me why, why are you near? 
Because you cannot make yourself a good noise Tell me what you're doing here Thanks to the people of the, the 20 summers and uh, for, for having me here. So a cool, what a cool place to sing. Just a shout out to my friend Patty Larkin who came tonight. I'm just there. Yay, Patty. Yay. Yay, she's my friend. <laughs> I mentioned, uh, this is a song uh, about a Mennonite girl. I forgot to tell you after I did the Mennonite girl song, my wife uh, is a poet and she's got, well, she uh, writes songs every once in a while now. She's working on a, um, a song now called My Beloved Amish Boy. <laughs> Chorus goes something like, my beloved Amish boy, my beloved Amish boy, every morning I wake up sad. <laughs> my, my beloved Amish boy. <laughs> I'm probably not going to record that one. Well, thanks a lot. I didn't know where to look for you. Last night, I didn't know where to find you. I didn't know how I could touch that light that's always gathering behind you. I didn't know that I would find a way. To find you in the morning But love can pull you out of yesterday As it takes you without warning I want to be a long time friend to you I want to be a long time known not one of your memories used to be A summer's fading song It's from me, it's to you For your eyes, it's a weight Wonder that is wise I am here, you are there Love is our cross to bear hmm. I know I'll think of us upon that hill With the golden moon arising And the stars will fall around us still While the love is realizing I throw my arms around you You can count the gray hairs in my head I'll still be thankful that I found you It's from me, it's to you For your eyes, it's a weight A wonder that is why I am here, you are there, and love is our cross to bear. Mm -hmm. Love 
there's our cross to bear Much. Thanks. Thanks for clapping until I got back. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't look so good. A few months ago, on a Saturday, I was out in Seattle, and I turned on the TV and I watched the coverage of uh, the March for Our Lives uh, event, and I was moved by the sight of all all those people out there in the streets of Washington, D.C., and a lot of other places, I guess, all around the, the world. And uh, I was moved by that. Uh, there was another shooting today. But, but the, the, the thing that was hopeful about, uh, about the March for Our Lives thing, it was just the beginning. It, was not, it wasn't just a one-day th th event. And um, so this is for the, those... Uh, those kids who have taken the lead. This is uh, one of the things I, I, I was thinking about when I saw all those people out there, that the, uh, kind of the sea of people. Um, I thought of something about how uh, uh, the properties of light, sometimes the uh, light acts like a particle and sometimes it acts like a wave. And this is called a particle and wave. Never stop believing There is goodness in the world There is goodness in the world There is goodness in the world I see children marching There is goodness in the world I listen to them speaking There is goodness in the world When we finally do the right thing There is goodness in the world Goodness in the world We need to be reminded There is goodness in the world Too often we are blinded To the goodness in the world They are working hard to find it The goodness in the world Goodness in the world You can't beat fear with fear You can't beat hate with hate Only love can do that It's not too late No, it's not too late No, it's not too late Though just as seems To hesitate It's not too late I saw a sea of people, both particle and wave Teach the ones who came before a new way to behave I saw a sea of people, both particle and wave Wash over the world, their very lives to save Never stop believing There is goodness in the world There is goodness in the world There is goodness in the world Never stop believing There is goodness in the world Goodness in the world Goodness in the world Thank you very much. Be careful going home. Thank you.